Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. Hope you guys are all well. Thanks for dropping in. I did put videos up on Monday for completely single Geminis. There is a playlist there, you might want to check it out. One for each zodiac sign. There may be a message there for you, Gemini. You are completely single, Gemini. What is the overall energy surrounding you? In your love life, Gemini, overall energy surrounding you. Ooh, there we go. Oh, a little chaos and conflict, competition. <laughs> you could, this could be taking action as well. Okay. Taking action against the competition. It might be a little chaotic. Let's see what's happening. Gemini. Overall energy surrounding Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Your messages this card wants to come out ah oh, there you are you may have people competing for your attention <laughs> you're keeping things to yourself i feel like you're kind of sticking to yourself though uh, you're looking out for you you're taking care of you you're making some kind of plans for the future or somebody may be coming in to take action they may want to know you're single they may want to know if there's competition see where this is headed gemini gemini what is going on here Gemini. Looks like you're look, making some kind of plans. You're taking care of house and home, taking care of yourself. Yeah, there's something here about your intuition. Trusting your intuition about a past situation. This is reminiscing. Maybe you're feeling lonely. You've been kind of keeping to yourself. So your intuition is trying to tell you something here. Trust it, okay? It has something to do with the past. Your intuition may be telling you somebody is about to come forward and take some kind of action. Wow. Someone wants to know if there's competition here, I feel. You may have a new crush. You may uh, know that there's somebody here who's ready to take action. You're keeping this to yourself. You're looking out for you, looking out for number one. <laughs> Someone sees you as, as someone who takes care of themselves. You always look good, probably look like you're always going somewhere. Gemini, does Gemini need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives? There we go, yeah. So there is something here. Nine, yeah, someone has some regrets and remorse for not taking action, okay? There's something here. Um, wow, there is someone here who's thinking about you. They're reflecting on something. There may be some kind of jealousy. Someone may feel there's people competing for your attention. Ooh, yeah, there's someone who regrets not investing. We have an emperor energy, Aries energy, possibly. It could be anyone. This is an emperor. Someone's ready to take action. They're coming in to fight for what they want. This is someone who probably regrets not taking action, not investing in the past. Okay, there's a need for some kind of patience. Maybe you're patiently waiting. You're just sticking to yourself. I see you single. Yeah, I see some Virgo energy. Someone wants to know if you're in a, in a, a relationship. They want to know if you're single. They're looking for answers. There's someone who's on a path. They're kind of soul searching. This could be you as well. This could be the other person. You're sticking to yourself. Maybe you're ready to come out of hermit mode. Maybe you're ready to take action. Ah, I see some Sagittarius. Yeah, you are ready for a new adventure in love, but you're just sticking to yourself right now. You may be, feel like there's someone who's ready to come towards you. I do. I feel like this is someone who... They want success. Someone has a bit of an ego here. Yeah, someone's guarded and defensive. Now, we have a situation here. You see this person's got their bags on the ground. There's baggage being laid on the ground. Someone is picking someone up. This is an energy of someone who is ready to carry the the weight of a relationship okay this is someone who needs to put their baggage down uh, to let something go somebody here regrets something here to do with that they're on this journey someone soul searching commitment marriage moving forward successfully thinking of putting more someone's been very much invested in their finances this is someone self-made i see an aries energy uh, this is someone who <sighs> regrets not investing taking action, fighting for what they want, and they're about to do that. Someone is going through some kind of a uh, transition, a change, ready for a new adventure in love, wanting to move forward successfully. Someone's thinking of putting more um, 
attention into their love life. They maybe work a lot, you know, that emperor is someone who has a lot of responsibilities, very dedicated to what they do. But there is a regret for not putting, maybe someone regrets not giving you more attention. They may be worried other people are giving you attention. They're looking to see what's going on. And I also see someone who's contemplating setting themselves free from some kind of a relationship or commitment and moving towards you, wanting to know if you're single. Wow, Gemini. Yeah, this is someone who's got some baggage. Uh, there's something here this person needs to stand up for. Okay, this is about their beliefs. They, yeah, you. someone's not so sure. Okay, we've got this. Yeah, someone's definitely something to do with fairness, balance, making the right choice, the right decision. I feel like someone's made a decision here and it's not working out they're thinking of leaving a marriage a commitment there may be there's a lack of a solid foundation someone's not believing this is going to turn into a marriage okay there's a lack of balance we have the tower someone's having an epiphany here so the tower is about to come down i feel there's someone here who's reminiscing trust your intuition okay it's going to guide you that there's someone thinking about you they are thinking of coming in and taking action this is doing things right there is a relationship or marriage about to come to an end it's not built it's built on a shaky foundation and someone's on a bit of a journey here wow gemini gemini someone wants to know if you're single they want to come towards you they regret not giving you enough attention in the past they regret not moving forward uh, towards some kind of a commitment but they have to leave another one first tell me about this nine of wands this is someone putting things behind okay uh, someone who's been kind of beat up in love someone's been working really hard i feel like what you got is someone who just is a workaholic they're uh, they were only focused on their finances they were their investments their money and I feel as though this person is ready to take action. They're ready for love. You got someone who's ready to kind of find that balance between work and play. Someone's been all work and no play. Tell me about nine of wands. Why is this nine of wands here? I thought it was the nine of swords before. Nine of Wands. What is happening? Someone's ready to put something in the past and move forward towards something more successful. Patience. Someone's waiting for the right time to take action. Maybe the timing wasn't right when you met this person before. They are someone from the past, someone who was crushing on you. Yeah, they're reminiscing. They're thinking about you having some aha moments. You may have been the one all the, the whole time. Yeah, there's someone here who's looking for answers, shining a light on the situation. This is someone who's kind of held back, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who held back their feelings. They. This is someone who needed more information. This is someone who probably didn't tell you, okay, that they were, maybe they were invested in something else, another relationship, or they didn't want to invest. They wanted to stay single. Maybe there was some kind of chaos. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this here? Ah, yes, there we go. Yeah, you got someone who wants to talk there. This is someone who kind of had one foot in the door and out. And this is someone who was just looking for romance. They were more invested in their money, their finances, their career. Okay, that emperor energy. But this person's making a decision to come and reach out to talk to you. Uh, they're looking for some kind of answers, what you're up to. If there's competition, yeah, they want to know if you're seeing anyone else. This is someone that you may have met somewhere in the past. Yeah, they're reminiscing about a past event, something that happened. Uh, this is somebody who's crushing on you from the past, who's regretting not taking action. They were just all about their money. I think maybe the timing wasn't right, whatever it is, but they're coming in to talk to you. I see some romance. I see an offer, a date. They may give you something really sweet. This is someone who's crushing, but they are generally someone who's not always the most emotional at first. Definitely that emperor energy. This person's not really afraid of the competition. They just like to know. They want to have all that clarity before they come in and communicate. So they're on a little bit of a journey. This is someone's personal journey. They're going within, looking for answers. They want to know what's going on. If you're single, yeah, they're pulling back. This is someone who's going through a little introspection. They're going within to look at things from a different angle. They want to approach you. Uh, they're going to take a different approach, maybe. Maybe this is someone you moved away from, uh, decided to stay single. Maybe you were in a relationship with this person and you moved on because things you didn't feel like it was going to move towards success. 
But I feel it's really the other way around where they're, this is someone who's kind of gone within. They're taking a pause. They're seeing things different, seeing you differently. And they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely, uh, go, well, this is a journey. This is where there's things are on hold with this person. And they're seeing things different when it comes to marriage, commitment. They're now seeing possible success with you. They're ready for a new adventure in love. All right. Four of Wands energy. What's happening here? What is happening? Yeah, there's that. Someone's ready to put more attention. They want to have their thinking of success. This is somebody who's setting themselves free and coming your way. They're ready for this adventure. And I feel like you are too. I think you're ready for some fun. I see traveling and movement. I see uh, two people uh, ready for love, ready for adventure, ready for success. You're both successful. I feel like this person is successful. They're used to getting a lot of competition or a lot of attention. Okay, this isn't someone who's used to chasing. This is someone who's usually chased, but now they're coming towards you. Yeah, they didn't take action before, and they are now. They're like they're not really worried. The emperor is not worried. There's competition. But there's, there's things that they want to know, okay, before they come in. Because this is someone who aims for success 100%. Yeah, someone sees you as just right. They're coming in the right way. They want to approach you in the right way. Maybe they didn't in the past. You may have met this person and they were kind of, you know, they were. it was just a crush, I feel. This is a, a definitely a crush from the past. You've met this person before at some kind of an event. They're definitely an emperor. Maybe it was their event. They were running it. There may have been people competing for their attention. But I feel this person wanted to reach out. Maybe they held back, decided not to approach. Maybe they heard that you were married or in a relationship. It's quite possible. But this is someone who wants to do things right. They want to do things the right way. And I feel... There's something here about you that this person sees is just right. Beautiful. Tell me about this Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Why is this here for Gemini? Oops, we got so many cards. Gemini. Seven of Wands energy. What is this about? Ah, oh, burdened, yeah. This person's ready to release some burdens here. They're ready to let go of something. This person may have been in relationships with people who didn't pull their weight. Uh, didn't do their fair share. So there is this energy of being guarded, a little bit defensive. So I do feel they're, they're definitely ready for this adventure, but they're looking at things different. They want to approach you. Uh, they want to have success, okay? They're aiming for victory here. They do have to let something go. Yeah, this is someone who, yeah, felt left out in the cold. Uh, there's someone here. There was something lacking in this person's marriage. There's a lack of something. They feel lonely. Now, this could be someone who's in a marriage that's lonely. And they're carrying all the weight. Uh, they're always paying for everything, always doing everything. They're always carrying the burdens. But they're ready to release this. And they're ready to... And there's someone here who's ready to... It's also, I feel, someone who's lonely. And uh, maybe they felt you were out of their league in the past because they see you as this beautiful energy someone who just looks good takes care of themselves you stick to yourself they definitely want to know if you're completely single or there's people around though yes they're gonna have to go about everything just right this is about commitment and marriage leaving one behind to move towards something else justice and balance there's definitely some strong libra i feel they have some strong libra in their chart or they're just really looking for that clarity. This is someone who held back. They had one foot in the door and out. Maybe they bought you a drink. They talked to you. You may have had too many people around you at the time as well. Too many people competing for your attention. So they kind of maybe felt, you know, oh, well, okay. Gemini's not really that interested in me because they see you as successful, someone who gets a lot of attention. Because you're just right. You accessorize. They like the way you dress, the way you accessorize. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, this person has taken notice of your appearance, definitely. It's, you just got it all going on. Tell me about this energy. Yeah, this, this person's gaining the strength and the confidence. They're taming the beast within themselves. This is someone who's definitely, yeah, very, they see you as strong and confident, someone who can make them happy, but they're gaining that strength and confidence. This is someone who may have felt, maybe this person, maybe you wanted to reach out to this person in the past. Maybe it was you and there was a lot of competition. Maybe you decided not to take action. Maybe you're regretting it. It could go either way, but this person may have 
um, made you feel like you weren't good enough or something. But I feel like it's them. I feel like they're lacking. They're in a relationship or something where there's a lack. Someone's not treating them well. They feel lonely in the relationship they're in. And they're trying to gain the confidence to come towards you, to open up, to talk to you. They feel like you're someone they can open up to, right? This is about balance, balancing head or heart, making a decision. This is about justice, doing the right thing, taming that beast, gaining that confidence. There's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. This person's kind of weighing the pros and the cons. Yeah, they're thinking of ending something here. They're having some kind of an epiphany. They're lonely in the relationship they're in. They're carrying the weight. They feel burdened. Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, there's this energy of feeling stuck, holding on to something. This is someone who needs to let go of something. They're coming out of that stuck energy. They're having an epiphany as they think about you. You probably know this. Trust your intuition. I see a Pisces energy. Okay, you, you have all the answers. I feel like you already know this person enough. Uh, to know their sweet feelings, reminiscing memories. Uh, this is definitely crushing uh, someone from the past. Tell me about this epiphany, this tower. Yeah, there, so there's definitely, yeah, someone's thinking of ending things. It's going to happen very suddenly, but there's a transition, and that transition is moving towards you. Could be the death of someone's ego here too, I feel. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and someone's been holding back. Someone's been trying to be in protective mode, holding back, making this decision, but it's all in the details. They know it's time to end the situation, okay, and to transition. So there is something transitioning. Something is definitely ending. Tell me about this Five of Wands. Why is this here? Five of Wands. Oops, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yes, beautiful. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is yourself. I feel like there's some love here. There's something. You probably tried to reach out to this person. Maybe they had people around them. There was too much competition. You maybe decided not to. They see you as loving and nurturing and caring. I, have a, I wonder if you said something very sweet to this person. There's something here they're thinking about that you may have said or shared with this person because they see you that way. I do think they want there. This person regrets not taking that action. They see you, people competing for your attention. They may be wondering if you've met someone new. You may have a new crush here as well. Like, I see you getting attention. I, I see you wanting an adventure. You want commitment. Yeah, there's something about... I feel like there's someone here who doesn't have a lot of faith in the relationship they're in. They want to set themselves free. Maybe somebody wasn't faithful in the relationship. Okay. Yeah, something about releasing, letting go. Something isn't right. There's a lack of balance in a commitment. Tell me about this seven of, maybe there's someone in the relationship that's acting single when they're not with this person. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Ah, yeah, safety, security, stability. Yeah. Someone sees you as stable, someone they can rely on. They, they see you as nurturing and loving and caring and compassionate. You shared something with this person at an event. They're reminiscing about it. And they're seeing things differently. They want to approach you. But I feel like they're, everything's kind of on hold in their life right now because they have to set themselves free. They're also going through a transition to do with their belief behaviors, the way they conduct themselves. Someone that they're with, I feel, may have stepped out, okay, didn't conduct themselves properly, didn't uphold their vows, and this person is really, ah, yeah, somebody was getting attention on the side here. They feel lonely. They're carrying the weight, carrying the burden of a relationship. Now, you, it also could flip where you have someone who feels remorse and regret for not uh, behaving in a more responsible manner, not pulling their weight as well. But if someone's lonely here, and I feel like they're stuck. They're holding back. They're trying to hold on to their money. They're trying to protect themselves. They're ways on the pros and the cons about ending a situation to do with that too. So this is someone who definitely has some money, you know, very solid finances, self-employed, that emperor energy. I feel as though they, they're trying to hold on to their money. It's keeping them stuck. They're trying to weigh the pros and the cons of putting an end to this situation and moving forward with this transformation. It's inevitable with the death card that there is something going to end here with the tower. 
this person knows, right? They have to end it. Uh, they want to come towards you. I feel like your intuition is telling you something. I think you know something here. Uh, something from the past. This person may be a secret crush from the past. They know everything that they feel they need to know. Oh, yeah, they're manifesting a new beginning. That's you. You may be manifesting this person from the past. You have all the tools you need. You're, you're very reliable. This is someone who sees you as someone who pulls their weight. They have some regrets. Uh, this is, person's definitely thinking of you. Uh, you're manifesting this somehow. So just trust your intuition. You have all the tools you need. Yeah, you definitely, there's something here you know about a foundation in a situation with someone you know their foundation you know something okay you're manifesting this new beginning you have all the answers <laughs> your intuition's giving you yeah you know who this is tell me about this magician energy see a virgo energy here someone may have a little virgo or taurus in their chart yeah, this is being practical, realistic. You're looking into the future. You're, you want someone who's safe, someone you can rely on. You see a future with this person. You know it. You see them in the future. You know what's going to happen with their situation. Uh, you're being real about this too. Like you're realistic. You're being practical. You have all the tools, all the answers you need to get what you want here. So trust that intuition. Keep, And I feel like you're keeping this to yourself. There's someone here who... You know the secrets of this situation with this person. Yeah, I see this movement. There's something that's being learned here, moving forward. Someone's moving away from a situation and they're coming towards you. They want to get to know you more or there's just that communication. You're learning kind of as you go here as well about this person by trusting your intuition. But you are keeping things to yourself. You're keeping, you may be keeping this person's secrets. You may know some things about them. You're keeping it to yourself. Yeah, you're, you've got this person's back, whoever they are. You may know that their person wasn't being honest, okay? May have stepped out getting attention. They weren't faithful. Wow. You're keeping it to yourself. You're not sharing it with anyone you know. You've got this person's back. And I think they know this. Like, they see you as someone they can rely on. Someone very grounded, very solid. Uh, you're someone who just sort of... You're, you're just it's all like a friend like you were just a very good friend here and they're definitely thinking about you this person wants to talk to you yeah they're thinking about communicating you're on this in this person's thoughts yeah they're definitely thinking of reaching out this is someone who they are a little cautious uh, they are looking for that clarity but there's something about their past they need to deal with wow beautiful energy this is someone who is cautious, though. They are thinking about love in the future. They're trusting. They're in. This person knows a lot about you as well. Uh, I see some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, or it's just that King of Cups energy. It's someone very loving, nurturing. This is someone who wants a family, okay? And you may even know things about their family, their foundation, their marriage. Uh, I feel like you're very protective of this person. I love this energy. So whatever this means to you, yeah, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. You're very compatible. I feel like the two of you would be a very good fit. And I think this person's thinking a lot about you. They're ready to leave something in the past and move forward. They are definitely lonely. They're carrying a lot of weight, a lot of burden. It's like they're in a relationship, but they're alone. They're in a marriage, but they're alone. They're stuck. Yeah, this is someone who wants love. This is this, this is that transformation, maybe a Scorpio energy. Maybe they're with someone who's got Scorpio in their chart, but there's something going to end here. Yeah, there's going to need to be a little bit of a transition of healing, clearing out negative thoughts, negative energy. This person's kind of holding back right now. They, they know they've had the epiphany. They know it's going to crumble. It's going to fall. I think you know as well. Okay. Wow. Yeah, secrets, mystery, confusion. It's because of the secrets. Okay, it's a, but there's secrets in this relationship. There's something hidden. Uh, this person has some fears about this, though. I do feel that they have deep feelings. They may have kept it to themselves in the past. Uh, they do want to reach out. They want to talk to you. I see the King and Queen of Cups here. Ah, uh, yeah, there is definitely, look at that. Yeah, this is definitely, there's a lot of abundance between you. This person's making a choice. I, I feel like you... There's a lot of fantasizing, a lot of decision making. I feel they're going to make the choice to come in at some point, but they got to go through this transition. 
Yeah, we have two people connecting, seeing the possibilities. There's a lot of abundance, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. It's very sweet. I feel like it was kept very innocent. It's definitely a past energy uh, where you were at some event, something happened. They're reminiscing on whatever it is you said. I see you as loving and nurturing, caring, someone who has their back, a team player, someone on the same path, the same page. They have to let go of something first, though. And they do. They're looking for some kind of answers here by reflecting on this energy. So I do see some kind of a communication. This person does want to communicate. They have to move away from something first. It's going to happen suddenly. I, I feel they're going to talk to you. They probably want to know if you're married or in any kind of relationship. Yeah, I see a reconciliation, a decision, a judgment being made here. Libra, very strong Libra energy. Um, Taurus and Sag. And then yourself, you're manifesting this. And I feel this is something you've manifested from the past. Okay? And it's like that reminiscing, like you know, right? Beautiful. Yeah, this is about being patient, investing. Somebody's, this person may want you to be patient. They may talk to you. Uh, I feel they're thinking about the past. There's some very, something about deep feelings, secrets and things. I, you know a lot about this person that you're holding back. You're keeping it to yourself, whatever it is. They see you as someone who sticks to themselves. They see you as reliable, someone who has their back. You see, that's, I love that energy. Yeah, this person definitely is, uh, there's something that they want to communicate. They're rushing in, but they're a little indecisive right now. They want to communicate like they badly want to communicate, but they can't. Okay, they have to hold back. They have to keep things very quiet, very secret right now. They need to keep things to themselves. There's some kind of transition going on behind the scenes kind of energy. I feel like you're kind of aware of this person. Uh, you know there. You know a lot about this person's foundation, their history, their family. So it's all about being patient and just waiting, trusting your intuition. I feel like you're looking into the future. You see this person as marriage material, like you see something happening in the future. Yeah, this person needs to break free of some kind of change, something that's been holding them back, keeping them stuck. Okay, they need to break free. They need to go through this healing. Wow. There we go. Nope. Gemini, there you are. Yeah, so this is about the root of the problem. You're waiting for results. You're growing roots. You're probably single. You are probably at times thinking of going off on a new path because you feel maybe this person feels like they don't think you don't think that you're good enough or uh, you're maybe burdened by this situation. But I can see this person reminiscing. They, and I feel this person is doing a lot of that. And I do feel they have something they need to break free. It's something that keeps holding them back. They're stuck in a bad marriage, a bad situation. And it's at the root of the problem. So this person has some things they need to figure out. And I feel like you're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. You're just going on your intuition. But I feel you can trust it. Yeah, there's somebody coming out of sadness and isolation, ready to take a leap of faith. That's that tower where someone's ready to put an end to something. There's some kind of a transformation happening. Yeah, love abound. Someone has their eye on you. You got your eye on them. This is the heart of the problem, though. They have to break free of something. I feel like you're kind of waiting for results, waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for this person. Yeah, success and growth. Yeah, there's something developing. There's some kind of abundance. This is somebody who I feel, you know, they work hard. They have a lot of abundance financially. They have this emperor energy, but they're stuck in a situation. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this situation. They're kind of Everything is on pause. Everything is very stuck. They're on this journey. Uh, the only And this is about this abundance. This is about moving forward. I feel like this person kind of keeps doing the same thing or they, yeah, but they, it has to do with justice, balance, doing things right. Uh, this is a person who gets a lot of attention, I feel, because they are financially stable. Yeah, it's a dedicated effort. And I feel this is what, there's that eight again, that that energy of somebody who puts a lot of effort into something, probably doesn't get anything in return, but they see you that way as they reminisce. 
This is someone who's in the past thinking of events, things that have happened, people they socialized with, friends and family, and then they start to think about you. There's definitely some kind of connection there. This person wants to reach out. They want to reach out to you, but I feel there's another person involved. There's definitely another person here. Yes, it's all about the truth, win or lose. Something needs, one person needs to be cut out here. And the truth, this is someone who's wanting to take action, win or lose. I feel that they will do this eventually. So trust your intuition. If you're waiting for this person, that's your decision. Okay, and I feel like your decision is to kind of just wait and see what happens because you're manifesting a future with this person. You have all the tools you need. This is the information or you're trying to learn, right? You're trying to gather up all the information and the tools that you need to find out about this person. You, you're you thinking about them as well. And I do feel there's this energy of just being, you know, don't rush in too quickly. Okay, just kind of, there's things that you need that need to be cleared up. There's a need for some kind of clarity about this investment, this decision. You are invested in this person. This is your decision. And I feel like you're waiting very patiently. You're waiting for those answers. Like this is the root of this. There's someone here who's got a root problem, something that they keep doing over and over. And yeah, it's. I see this communication. This person's thinking about reaching out, talking to you. They are cautious. Uh, they're trying to gain some kind of clarity. But rest assured, you are in this person's thoughts. So I wish you the best. Win or lose, there's something going to happen, some kind of truth and epiphany where this person will decide to take action. But it's going to create some kind of conflict. That's where they're kind of weighing the pros and the cons. They're trying to hold on to their money. Uh, they're a little bit worried about that. Uh, they This person already has enough responsibilities. Uh, they're a little bit concerned about that. So take care. I wish you the best. Bye for now.